Um, Mr. Secretary, I, I share some of the concerns that the ranking member uh, raised, Senator Wyden. Um, I think it's fair to say that if you have an amendment that strips the $600 and uh, every Republican votes for it, that was your intention. You didn't want the $600 to be part of the unemployment compensation. But what I'm concerned about is that uh, it seems to me that these rosy expectations that everybody will be uh, able to go back to work are just not going to be realized by August 1st. Uh, I live in a state that is having uh, that has the second largest number of uh, COVID-19 deaths and infections. Uh, it is going through a staged reopening. That means that many businesses still won't be open by then, or they will be opened with less capacity by then, which means that they will require less workers by then. And so if that's a reality, and we've seen where there has been a premature opening in states, uh, that in fact, uh, we ended up uh, with um, uh, higher COVID infection rates as a result of the premature opening. So when, you know, we have a national unemployment rate of 13.3%, when unemployment rates among African Americans is even higher, 16.8%, when unemployment among Latinos is even higher than that, 17.6%, what is the administration's plan for August 1st? Uh, Senator Menendez, thank you for the question. I think uh, part of what we'd like to do is watch how things develop over uh, the weeks ahead. One of the really striking things about the nation's experience with coronavirus has been how swiftly things change. And in the early weeks, uh, unfortunately, that was a series of swift changes for the worse as uh, the health problems uh, increased greatly and, and of course, as we uh, very suddenly uh, stopped our economy. Seconds, Mr. Secretary, I'm, I'm looking at, we know there's going to be a cliff on August 1st. Why should we wait to address the cliff after August 1st than before? There's no question that unemployment is still going to be very high on August 1st, no matter how well we might desire, uh, you know, uh, it to be different. And so for all those workers, who either cannot get back to work because their phased reopening has not opened their their uh, former place of employment, or the phased reopening has only allowed, for argument's sakes, 50% of uh, the employees to come back, or there is still a risk, a, a reasonable risk, a serious risk of uh, contraction of the infection, uh, what are we gonna do on August 1st? Well. As I was saying, things have changed uh, quickly for the worse for a period of time, but now we're seeing that th things have the capacity to change quickly for the better. Uh, we know where the economy was in, in mid-May. Uh, we'll know more uh, when our next jobs report comes out uh, in early July about the state of the economy. I think based partly on that, uh, we can make an assessment of what measures, if any, could be necessary uh, after uh, uh, July 31st. I recognize that, as you said, we will not get back to the extraordinary economy that President Trump brought us of 3.5% unemployment. Uh, we won't get back there in, in early fall, but we will know we will know a lot more question. as we come toward uh, to as we come into July. And I think at that time we can take an assessment of the so uh, appropriate say, measures. Let me reclaim my time, Mr. Secretary. I'm not going to let you filibuster my time. Uh, we are in the phases of a, a reopening. How many coronavirus-related complaints has OSHA received? I, I understand uh, it's 5,000. Is that correct? Uh, it, we have received uh, several thousand. I, I don't have the uh, exact uh, how current many coronavirus number. citations? I, I, I'm sorry, have, Senator. I'm, I'm just trying to complete my answers. How, how many coronavirus citations have been issued by OSHA? We've issued one citation to date. I would add that we have a six-month limitations period. Of course, it's uh, been less than six months since the virus came here. So we have a number of cases that we are investigating. Uh, and if we find violations, we will uh, certainly uh, not hesitate to bring a case. This is something that I've it talked to, to our head of OSHA about a number of, uh, uh, talked to our head of OSHA about a number of times. Mr. That instead, of, instead of guidance, you should be issuing emergency temporary standards that are very clear 
uh, under OSHA, uh, and that would make a clear uh, uh, example of what is acceptable to return to work safely and what is not acceptable. And those who are forced to return to work in a situation that is unacceptable will have a valid claim. But one Senator citation out of 5,000 is unbelievable.